Okay guys, what's going on? And today I'm here and I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of that really annoying echo in Wirecast. So Wirecast is a live streaming program which allows you to live stream to YouTube. Now, even though it's free, even though it's very very good, the only problem that it has is when you set it up to be capturing your Xbox or your capture window right here, you get a really annoying echo. So I'm just going to go like across a couple of tabs here on my Xbox and if I come back to the Wirecast window you can see that the audio levels are jumping up and down and then I press it again and it goes up even more. So it's a really big long echo and that prevents a lot of people from live streaming game sound when they're going to go and get rid of that. Now when they are going to live stream with Wirecast and that's why a lot of people go for XSplit and Open Broadcaster I'm here to show you how you can get rid of that really annoying echo so you've seen it now how to prevent it so all you do is you click on these headphones so what these headphones are is allowing you to listen uh, like to the sound that's being going through Wirecast and it allows you to adjust the volume up and down as you wish now, that causes the echo. So if I click across on my right bumper now on my Xbox, you can see on the audio bar it only goes up once. Now, why does listening to it cause a really big long echo? Well, what happens is you press the button. The audio gets played through your computer speakers. Now, Wirecast gets the sound that's coming through your computer speakers and then outputs it again and then it just goes in a never-ending loop until it gets really 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 quiet or very 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 loud and that's really annoying so if you just stop listening to it you no longer have that sound going through your computer and the sound is still being outputted on your stream so if you think that the audio levels are a bit off, you can go into preview my stream and adjust them while you're previewing your stream. So that's a little bit handier than having a really annoying echo in the background. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I will see you later, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any requests for how I set up Wirecast and all of my settings and whatnot, please do let me know, and I will show you. So thanks, and I'll see you later.